Hi folks, welcome to Real Talk NOLA. I'm Carl Johnson. I'm Gilligan, this is Skipper. Wait. Yeah, oh, I wait. introduced you twice. Wait a minute. So that would make me like the captain, the boss. That makes you the skipper. Yeah, but yeah, but you, Gilligan wasn't was under the skipper. Like you know what? Just call me little buddy. And it's wait. You know what? Is this a joke about the shirt? I'm not gonna say no. What's wrong with the yes. shirt? It's comfortable. It's light. Goes with cocaine and Jimmy Buffett parties. At least I don't look like some pedantic English professor that smokes pipes all day long. Did you know I have pipes? No. Do you have pipes? Look. I was right, wasn't I? And I don't do cocaine, and I don't like Jimmy Buffett. All right, but I have the pipes, but you don't do coke. No. Yet you're wearing the shirt for coke. We'll it's be right back. Got him! Oh! All right, so Expendables 2 debuted recently. And we all have questions. Did this warrant a sequel? Can Jod Clan Van Damme outmuscle Sylvester Stallone? Why is there another Hemsworth in this movie? All things we need to know. Carl? Well, don't fret about the Hemsworth character. That's all I'm going to say. Wait! Um, Did they make it slow? <laughs> you'll be happy. Um, but can Jean-Claude Van Damme face uh, Rocky Balboa, you know, Rambo? It, the fight, how do I put this? The, you know, it's supposed to be the climactic fight. Clearly, you know, the end, and it was not climactic. I'll just put it like that. Jean-Claude Van Damme. But were the kicks good? It, it, was, it was the, um, the kicks Jean-Claude Van Damme does in every single movie. That one spin kick. Yeah, but, it's, but it's really cool. It is cool, <laughs> but it's like vi versus the boxer. <laughs> and it's like, shouldn't a kickboxer win? You would think, you know, because he's got the leg distance to keep someone at bay. Anyway, it ends up being a brawl is what it ends up being, a brawl. But, but otherwise, the movie is pretty good with action. There's great little one-liners. There's a great scene where um, Arnold and uh, Bruce Willis, because Bruce Willis actually comes into this movie actually doing something for once versus... The other movie, he's just like in the scenes talking. But there's a little thing where uh, Arnold like, is out of ammo. He says, I'll be back. And Bruce Willis says, no, I'll be back. And then Bruce Willis uh, spouts off yippee ki -yay. I mean, not Bruce Willis, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So there's a little tit for tat of their one-liners. yippee ki -yay. Yeah, he does that. He goes, <laughs> he goes yippee ki -yay. <laughs> Like, oh, great. You know? <laughs> and when Chuck Norris is in it, and I was really afraid about the Chuck Norris character because he didn't want it to be, he was the one pushing that I don't want to be in a rated R movie. And there was just talk about it being PJ thirteen, and but no, it's clearly an R. Like they went in, I think later, and they were like, they were like, we're making it R, Chuck. Like he's like, I don't want it to be R, but we're making it R. And they digitally put in blood. Like whenever they shoot somebody or like stab somebody, instead of like the previous film being like squibs, you know, the little exploding little chest things, it's digital digital blood. It's like something um, Robert Rodriguez would do, in like El, um, where it's like those puffs of smoke blood type yeah, looking like that thing. Yeah, that you put in, into the computer yeah. program. I mean, it was all right. But it was like bloody everywhere. It's like every time they punch somebody, it's like. <laughs> but um, but it was all like Chuck Norris's character is really, really, really like how do I put this? Like funny, like in, in the way that he, Chuck Norris does his own Chuck Norris joke. Oh God! You no, know, it was like as a fan of those little jokes, you know, like how Chuck Norris doesn't do a push-up; he pushes the earth down. Or there's not a chin behind his beard; there's just another fist. You know, he does his own joke, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody because it's it's because when you're watching the movie and you hear the joke, you don't realize it's a joke until you hear the very end of it. Like you hear the story, you hear, and then it's a joke. You're like, did Chuck Norris do a Chuck Norris joke? <laughs> the whole and then the whole theater erupts in laughter, you know, because it was clearly a, a comedic moment. But uh, Chuck Norris plays, like, the B.A. throughout the whole... Whenever he's on scene, he's just a B.A. Like, you know, um, almost reminds me of uh, Charlie Sheen's character in Hot Shots Part Deux. <laughs> just, like, killing everybody and, like, it's not a big deal. Like, it's so easy. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, like, there's action everywhere and it's, it's great action, but the movie wasn't shot that well, I think. Because there's a part where Stallone is talking to uh, one of the other characters and it's a, kind of a wide shot. And, like, you see it, and then it looks like they, they were like, oh, we need a close-up of Stallone, but we don't have it. So let's digitally crop the image, which then you get all the noise from when you crop a digital image, and it's not the most high-def image you can possibly get. There's line, like, all this little grading in it, and, it, like, it threw me out. Like, I don't know if it threw other people out, because other people might not notice that, but for me, I was like, wait, what? 
did they just, you know, and I start questioning and I start noticing more and more stuff like that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Like it looked like it got half the budget it did last time for like, you know, the whole movie. So because it was shot with less. Well, probably more went to the stars than probably, the movie. Probably, but it was like it's like the equipment wasn't up to par like it was last time. And of course, the, the shots of the city where they're from is New Orleans again. That was, but it's all like mostly exterior. There's, there's one point they shot it looked like at the Algiers Bar, the Algiers Point Bar, I think it is. But that's just mostly like exterior. Somebody riding a motorcycle through, could be anybody. Doesn't have to be Stallone. It could just be a stunt double. But great action movie if you love the action genre. Like that's, I'll give that a matinee. But I want to reel it back to DVD. Ouch. Yeah, because it was just it, it started to get shot really bad. Hold on, wait. I can hear Sylvester Stallone asking a question. <laughs> he wants to know why you're pushing it back. What was the what was the main reason? The main reason is the, uh, the cinematography. It for me it took me out. <laughs> says that has out. nothing to do with his acting. <laughs> well, every, well, I'll put can like he this. at least get riding Bruce props? Bruce Willis was great. <laughs> can he get riding props? Hold on, I'm asking. All right, no, put the gloves down. <laughs> Listen, He's putting on the Rocky gloves. You better wrap this up. <laughs> we'll be right back. 